7 Important Reasons the Quit Notice to Igbos Will Fail as Tick Reacts As tension continues in Nigeria over the recent three-month quit notice to Igbo people in the north, seven reasons have emerged as to why the threat may not work. The Igbo conscience, tick, led by barrister Monday Ubani also reacted to the threat from the north and castigated IPOB for making some statements. Though there seems to be panic across Nigeria over the recent threat to Igbo people in the north, findings have shown that the quit notice may not be effectively implemented after all. This is also as a pan Igbo group, the Igbo conscience, tick, told Nage. Comet condemns the ultimatum issued by the Northern Youth Group seeking that all Igbos in his own must return home states by October 2017. Here are some of the possible reasons the quit notice may not work. The federal government is not in support of the quit notice. As a result, the National Assembly has issued a warning to those trying to cause tension. Recall that the Senate has vowed to ensure the unity of the country. Several groups have condemned the quit notice to the Igbos. The Chief of Army Staff, Tukur Boratai, has also kicked against the threat asking those behind the move to just forget it. Those individuals and groups that are bent on destabilizing our country I think they have to wait till maybe the next three or four millennia for them to do that. That is, maybe the next generation of officers and men will allow them at all. I want to say that we would continue to do our best to maintain security atmosphere that is needed as provided for in the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. We have been tasked to defend our country. The governors in the southeast, through Dave Amai of Ebony State, have said they stand for a united Nigeria but devoid of tension. The southeast governor's forum has repeatedly reiterated its commitment to and preference for the existence of a veer, united, prosperous and progressive Federal Republic of Nigeria where justice, fairness, equity, mutual respect and equality of opportunity to all citizens regardless of greed, ethnicity or gender will reign supreme under the inflexible rule of law. We have had occasion recently to take this position publicly in response to the agitative but peaceful actions of some Igbo youth. We will continue to take a similar stance in response to any action that might threaten the cohesiveness of this nation or designed to cause its rupture. We call on all our Igbo sons and daughters resident in northern Nigeria to go about their lawful daily engagements without fear of intimidation, hindrance or molestation, he said. Monday Ubani's group also criticized the Northern Youths and IPOB for statements considered provocative. Governor Nisam Wyke of Rivers has said the South South would not be part of the Southeast should there be a breakup. The Sultan of Sokoto, Al Hajisa Adabu Bakar III, has been working tirelessly to bring peace and to bring unity to the people. So for all of us, this is what is meant by One Nigeria. We cannot run away from this country. The unity of this country is very, very paramount. The unity of this country is non-negotiable. So I cannot see us in a divided country. We stand for the unity of this country, he recently said. Will the Igbos abandon their properties and investments? How will they begin life when they return to their original states? This had been the fears from some of them since the quit notice was served on them. Some states including Delta and Akwai Bomb have dissociated themselves from the agitation saying they would not join the Biafra Republic should there be an eventual breakup. The division among the various agitating groups in the southeast. 
prominent here is the supremacy battle between the indigenous people of Biafra and the movement for the acutalization of the sovereign state of Biafra, Masab. The latter is recently claiming that the leader of IPA, Nmadi Kanyu, has been hijacked by politicians. In a related development, the tick, while condemning the North for the threat, also slammed IPOB for making some provocative utterances. Yara Mashetama is said to be part of those whose groups issued the notice. In a statement made available to Nage. Comments signed by Barrister Munde Ubani and Peter Claverapairo, the interim chairman and secretary respectively, the group said, We believe in the peace, unity, and togetherness of every Nigerian and we believe such statements divide Nigerians and should not be encouraged. TIC commends critical segments of the Northern Society for unequivocally condemning and disowning the declaration of the Eruwa Jutes. We salute the Kadena state governor, the Northern Governor's Forum and of course, right-thinking Northern groups for disowning the position of the Eruwa Jutes and we see their positions as healthy for the growth of peace and unity in the country. We salute their courage in taking firm positions against the so-called Kadena Declaration. We charge Southeast governors, groups and stakeholders to learn good lessons from this as their silence and acquiesce to the activities of IPOB helped create wrong impressions that spur such groups as Eruwa, youths to believe Igbo support the negative activities and statements from IPOB, the TIC said.